This video covers creating credits, courtesy credits, and credit notes in HVMS. For the purposes of the video, the term credit will be used to cover all credit entries. To create a credit, start under the New Payment drop-down in the Financial Ledger tab and select the type of credit you are creating. In this example, we are creating a credit. The date field is the financial date of the entry as it shows on the ledger. To choose a different date, select the date icon and make your selection from the calendar. The date can only be backdated within the current unlocked financial month. The amount field can be calculated based on a specific dollar amount or based on assignment to specific entries or line items on invoices. In this case, we will be assigning a $50 credit to specific line items on an invoice. Use the assignment portion of the window to assign the credit to the line items it applies to. If you have questions on assignment, review the link to more information on assignment in the attached solution article. A credit or courtesy credit can be created for a specific amount without being assigned to any line items. However, this is not recommended as credits are typically created for specific items that already exist on the ledger. Credit notes must be assigned to entries on the ledger that have been paid in order to be created. For credits, the checkbox regarding hiding patient history for entries that have this credit applied is only available under the credit entry. If this option is selected, any invoice items from an invoice or line item that is credited will be marked as hidden on the Patient History tab. This option is used in cases where a line item was billed when it shouldn't have been, and the practice is applying a credit to the line item and marking it as hidden on the history. In this case, we do want to hide these items on the history, so we will check the box here. The note field allows you to enter text that indicates why the credit was created. It is strongly recommended to use this note field as text from this field displays on client statements. Once we have filled out the required information, click Save. The credit has now been created and assigned to specific line items. At this point in time, we can also see that the entries for these items are marked as hidden on the Patient's History tab. That concludes our video on creating credits. Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video.